Now to a story you'll see only on nine. A couple that once endured hate is now reaching a milestone of love. Today is move in day for a family whose rental home was ransacked with messages of racism. That's right. Nine on your sides. Roseanne Aragon joins us now with just how far that couple and community has come. Roseanne. That's right. Craig Carroll, take a look behind me. What you're looking at is what the home on Seton Avenue looked like just months ago, and this is what it looks like today. Now, nine on your side was the first to reach out to this couple when it happened, and today they trusted only nine on your side to share how this situation has not only changed their home, but their lives. It's been just awesome and very heartfelt. For Pat and Joe Jude, today is a special one. We're standing in the exact same spot that was once a vision of hate. It was total destruction. Coming back from Thanksgiving, the Jude saw their rental home looking like this. It was holes in the walls. It was cement down the pipes. We had to replace all the pipes. But what hurt the most was this. Hate, discrimination they faced before. Their son Jay committed suicide, they say, because he was bullied for being biracial. Instead of being violent and reactive to that, I chose to look at something different. A change of heart from darkness to light. Today is move-in day after three hard months of renovations. Oh, this is not better than paint that was everywhere. And new tenants enjoying their home. I'm loving it. But what can't be seen is this feeling of hope. Probably over 2,000 people respond to us. The letters meant more than anything. I mean, people would say, I know it's not much, and they gave us $5. I mean, it wasn't the $5. It was what they wrote. I mean, there were so many heartfelt messages, and it actually went global. So we received letters from people all over the world. Sometimes you think you're on an island by yourself, but you're not. Even donations, money they're paying forward. They started scholarships, donated to churches, support groups, including suicide prevention programs. And with the extra, I'm working with the Parks Department, and we want to make some sort of a serenity type of a garden. One they'll build with the community. I want people to take away the fact that Cincinnati is not like that, um, that there we receive so much love. Has this been life-changing? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It was a change for positive. Out of all the ugliness came something beautiful. In Price Hill, Roseanne Aragon, 9 on your side. All right, thank you, Roseanne. And former tenant.